Hello there. I have made a video review about the Tilta Nucleus Nano or Nucleus N wireless follow focus system before, link in the description below. The Nucleus N is a very budget friendly, very useful tool. It is, however, not the most powerful follow focus in the world. But I was able to improve the number of lenses the Nucleus N can operate. This was achieved by two things. First, I get more power to the motor with Tilta's dedicated D-Tap to micro USB cable, the Tilta WLC-T4PC, delivering the full 14.8 volts to the motor instead of the mere typical 5 or 5.5 volts USB power. Let me talk about that first. I use the follow focus system mostly on my shoulder rig, where power comes from a V-mount plate for all my devices, the camera, the monitor and the follow focus system. However, the plate itself only has one D-Tab or P-Tab jack, but many V-mount batteries have another D-Tab jack and also my NPF to V-mount battery adapter plate that I use has that feature. So I used one of the D-Tab ports for powering my BMPCC4K and the other is free to be used for the motor. Now, 15 volts compared to 5 volts does not automatically mean triple up the power. By far not. Tilta claims on their homepage that the torque goes up from 0.65 Newton meter at 5.5 volts to 1 Newton meter at 14.8 volts. But it is a significant push of more than 50%. This can just be the difference between being able or unable to use lens, especially when we're talking about vintage lenses. And by the way, by using this new cable, the USB port on the battery plate is free now and can be used, for example, to power the hand control unit of the Nucleus N, which also has a micro USB jack. Any downsides of the new power option? Not really. The motor gets hotter with the higher voltage, but I haven't seen any problem with it. You could also say that at one newton meter of torque, the motor still is not the most powerful option on the market. Well, that's true. Still, we are talking about a very budget friendly and also very compact option here. So, the additional power is welcomed, and it still gives you the option to fire it with any cheap USB power bank or whatever if you do not need the race torque. Okay, then the second thing I did to use the Tilta Nucleus Nano with older lenses, whose focus ring is hard to turn. Well, it is a very simple trick, but it works. I just put a second follow focus gearing on top of the first one, thus increasing the position or radius where the force is applied. This effectively transfers more power to the lens's focus ring. I guess you can look up the physics behind it yourself, right? It looks a little or even pretty DIY as it is, but it works. Again, not a super big boost, but still another push to get more lenses working with the Nucleus N. Even my very nice but very heavy Pentacon 135mm, a so-called OK monster, that is even hard to turn by hand, can be operated with this trick, at least when you have warmed it up a little by turning it a few hundred times before shooting. It has to be said though that this method requires a focus gearing custom made for the lens or one glued to the lens as I have done. Then it is a great cheap option to improve the functionality of your follow focus system. So that is it, a short one this time as I'm still very busy and will remain so for a few more weeks but I hope it was useful. If so please consider a thumbs up and please subscribe. Thanks for watching.